Welcome to the Cal Corporation's series of videos about software engineering. The topic of this video is the standard libraries. Before proceeding, make sure that you have already watched these other videos first. We will be discussing these topics. To watch these videos, look for the links that are listed in this video's description. The standard libraries are an OS independent set of C++ classes that should be available in any C++ development environment. The C runtime library provides common functions for both C and C++ software. The C runtime originally used header files named like math.h, which are now obsolete. Those header files have been replaced by files named like cmath with no extension. Some of the original implementations have been changed into C++ only versions, while other functions were unchanged. The standard template library provides classes for managing collections of data. Because they were programmed using templates, STL collections can contain data having any item type. STL collections share a common method for iterating through their contents this allows a set of algorithms to have been generically written. Traditional C programming dealt with strings simply as a null terminated array of characters. The standard libraries provide some utility functions for manipulating with strings of that form. Additionally, C++ introduced a string class, which is more convenient for higher level programming. The I.O. Streams library provides a streaming mechanism for serializing objects as a sequence of characters. This streaming can target a file or a string buffer. I.O. Streams originally used header files named like ostream.h, which are now obsolete and incompatible. Those header files have been replaced by other files that do not use any extension. Most types and functions newly defined by the standard libraries have been written in a STD namespace. If a C runtime function had its interface broken when being updated for C++, then its modern form was also moved within the STD namespace. However, other C runtime functions like malloc have kept the same interface that they've always had since the C programming era. In those cases, it is equivalent to use either malloc or std malloc. In Windows Visual Studio, project settings determine which implementation of the standard libraries gets loaded. That determination considers whether or not you are using the IO Streams library.